Hello everyone, today we're gonna check out uh, the new game, Stranded Sail Explorers of the Cursed Island, which is sort of an exploration slash farming game with some beautiful, super cute graphics. This can be our first time playing the game. Let's get started, guys. So we can choose between male and female, and we can put a name here. I'm gonna be Banto. There we go, and I will be playing with my controllers, so we will see how that goes. I think this type of game I might enjoy more with controller than I would with um, my PC controls. Uh, hello world! Today is a big day. You're going on a great adventure, on a voyage to the other side of the big ocean. The place of wild forest and frozen glaciers. Also had a weird dream this night. Something about an exotic island, a talking parrot and a chipwreck washed ashore. Could it have meant something? You are not sure. Oh, what is that? A note from your father? You should read it. Note from my father, is it this one? Good morning, my child. I hope you have a good sleep and are well rested for our great journey. The crew and I are already making preparation at the docks. Please come as soon as you can. We would not want to leave without you. Yes, I've left your backpack as a late birthday present. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I packed it with some essential for your journey. Make sure you bring it with you. PPS, do not bother with any of the furniture. Furniture owners will surely want to keep them. Yeah, probably, I guess. Okay, so we have a backpack. I think it's this thing down here. Let's check it out. Ooh, very nice. You get a backpack. So don't bother with the furniture. It kind of makes you want to bother with them, right? You want to mess with them. That's <laughs> because they told you not to do it just like a child, right? Ooh, look at this. This looks pretty cool. I like this. Meet your father at the docks. Okay, so where is the docks? I'm gonna guess it might be this way, but I'm not entirely sure. I like these houses. I really like this. I'm quite excited to see like where this game is gonna go because games like Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon of those games, I really really enjoy those games. I think they have a really really interesting and uh, fun story to follow. Talk to the Captain Charles, approach Captain Charles. So we did find a boat even after we ran around a lot. There's some people up there as well. Hello Captain Charles. Ahoy Banto my child. Okay that's our dad I guess. It's great to see you. I hope that the last night in your old bed there was a good one. A strange dream, you say? How peculiar. Well, don't think about it too much, ho. When I was young, I had a lot of wild dreams too. Let us look forward to our great voyage. Through the snow-covered mountains and the forest to the far side of the ocean. Are you ready for this grand adventure? Yeah, we are. Oh, great to see you're excited as I am. We're almost ready to leave. Please, my child, bring your backpack into the cabin and return to me. I have one last task for you before you set sail. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna leave our little backpack somewhere inside here, I suppose. Look, this will be our bed and I guess that's our dad's bed down here. That's pretty cool. Great, Banto. Now we have everything together except for one very important thing. We need a barrel of apples from the warehouse behind the ship. Yeah, we do need to have some sort of food on the boat. What would we do with such a long voyage without some juicy apples to keep us fresh? Indeed. Be so kind and load one of those barrels into the ship, my child. Reach the warehouse behind the ship. Oh, behind the ship. Okay, so up here then. Other people, can we talk with them? I'm really curious about what the new kinds of fish will catch. <laughs> okay, so we're excited for some adventure. Hey! I'm so excited to finally leave this city of the new unworld la unknown lands. Hey! No, Sven, I want to talk with this guy. Oh, no, not you, Fritz. <laughs> hey, bearded fellow, Logan. The sooner we leave this city, the better. <laughs> I'm glad we're leaving this city for good. Looks like a lot of people are excited for some traveling. Yeah. Banto, how nice to see you. Hello, Cecily. 
Okay, so let's check out up here, I guess. It's up here, I suppose. Yep, the apple barrel from the warehouse. Is, was it this one? It was Gloon. Ooh, very nice. I like these sort of things, like you actually carry things. You don't just drop it in your inventory and run full speed, but you actually carry the thing. It's such a nice little extra detail. Hey, daddy, I got your barrel, man. We will have some delicious apples. Very nice. Enter of the ships. Okay, so here. Talk to Charles. <clears throat> Thank you for loading the barrel, my child. Now everything is prepared and we are ready to leave. Let me inform the crew. All hands on deck. Prepare to lift anchor. Hands on my child. It is time. We may cut the line so we're able to leave the city once and for all. I don't think we're supposed to go there. <laughs> okay, so I guess we... is these ones, right? Thank you, my child. Fritz and Logan are preparing uh, to lift the anchor. Please, Banto. You are light and nimble, a perfect fit for the task up on the mast. Would you climb the ring and load the sails for me? Start with the sails behind me and work way to the front. That was great. So now we're going to do the thing that I was doing before, pretty much. This is pretty cool. I like this. It's such a nice little detail here. I don't know why also, for some reason, this character kind of, in some way, reminds me of um, Treasure Planet, main character in that one. Really, really nice cartoon. I do rewatch that from time to time, it's pretty nice. I still wish there came a second movie for it. But there we go, Charles, we got uh, two of the sails, and we're gonna go for the last one, and then we're ready, hopefully, for the next world. I want to talk to these ladies first, though. Hiya! It's great to be here with all of you. Everyone on, is on a journey in their lives. All had our reasons to leave our homes behind. That makes me feel understood. Hmm. It's so nice to see you, my dear. Nice to see you as well. Wait, is this my hmm. is this my mom, Teresa? I don't know. It just felt like maybe she was. Hmm. Okay, let's go up in this one. Nimble Bantos setting up the sails. Oh, we can even run on them? Nice. Can we even go over here? That would be interesting if we can balance between. <clears throat> Thank you, my child. Let us say farewell uh, to this grey, narrow city. It was indeed very greyish, this city. I, I must agree about that. Soon we will be on the high seas, sailing towards our destination, into a better future for each of us, and a life full of opportunities. We go into New World, everybody. Hopefully gonna be an exciting adventure. Nothing could go wrong, right? Let's see what you're uh, uh, saying here. It's nice to see you, my dear. Oh. We will depart soon, so be ready. I think we already did depart, so I'm not sure what she's talking about. <laughs> Every tool can be a hammer, haha. Building a ship needs accuracy. In every aspect, you will need to back it more often than you like. I'm really curious about what kinds of fish we catch there. But that's the fisherman for sure, and this yeah. should be the cook, right? And how nice yeah. to see you. Boy, my child, the weather's looking good. We seem to be on the right course. There isn't not much except for enjoy the breeze. A great opportunity for you to learn about the crew. I'm sure they would also love to talk to you. Please, my child. 
be so kind and visit each of them for a small chat. Kinda did so, but I, we can do it again. Why not? Meeting people. Huh? Zubanto. There's just about as much room on this ship as there was in the city. Not enough. We're just about halfway there, so I guess I will live through it. When we arrive, the first thing I'll do is look for a remote spot to build a shack and just enjoy the freedom. <laughs> he wanna be a little bit alone, I thought it was too crowded. <laughs> hey Abanto, this weather is gorgeous, right? The salt breeze, the blazing sun are just so perfect. I have to lose my farm to the factories from the city? Oh, that that is terrible. Poor, poor girl, Fiola. I'm so excited about the chance to start over somewhere else. I'm glad to have met you here on board, Abanto. Glad to meet you too. Me, we meet again. Yeah. Bonjour, Banto. What do you want from me? Know what I am about? Well, I want to find new things to use in my kitchen. Find new exciting recipes to impress the world with. Does that answer your question? Great. Could you leave me alone then? <laughs> Have some more things prepared for the arrival. Nice. That's the cook who wants to find some exotic ingredients. Interesting. Oi, lumb lover. I... I hope you don't mind me calling you that, ahaha. The ship is beauty, isn't it? Can you feel how smooth it rides the waves? Yes, I can, Sven. So graceful. Whoever built the ship was a master of his craft. Dream of being able to create such a masterpiece one day. What is up? What is up, Fritz? Sun's blazing, man. I hope it doesn't burn my dome. Really don't want to damage my grey matter of a sunstroke. <laughs> Banto, I was wondering, could I keep up with the ship's speed while swimming? Eh, yeah, definitely too risky to try even for me. I will just resort back to trying to fish a big sea monster with my fishing rod. Eh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see if he can catch a big monster that would be awesome. And swimming after the boat, I don't think that would have worked out very good for him. If he's not like the best swimmer ever. Oh. Hey Banto, it's nice to see you around here with us on an adventure. I really miss a swing my hammer. I miss the melody of steel hitting steel, so this is the blacksmith or engineer or something, I suppose. Ox flying and heat of forge. And one day I will be back at it. I will forge the most delicate tools and weapons. I would even try it on this ship. If I was not sure that your father would throw me over the railing. Aha. That will be someone we will probably reach out to later to... When we want to get maybe some tools and stuff. Hello dear, hello Teresa. It's nice to see you. I was looking forward to our time on the ship. Silence only interrupted by the sounds of the winds and waves. It's really, really relaxing. I will knit you a warmer clothes once we arrive, my dear. I've grown up so much since we last met. I could really see you following in the footsteps of your dear father. Oh, Banto. I'm getting all sentimental now. Why don't you talk to the others while I re reminisce about old times? I think we're just done talking with them though, so let's go back to Charles. Hey Charles, how you doing man? Ahoy my child, I see you're getting along with all everyone in the crew. That is great, I'm sure even Cecil will talk to you more once we arrive. Oh yeah, that was the cook I think. Oh a parrot, wait what's, what's that? A colorful bird? I do not see it anymore. It must have landed somewhere on the ship. Check it out, Banto. Maybe you can catch it. That should mean that we're getting closer to land, right? If we have a parrot flying around. Is it out on this one, maybe? No? But it's kind of cool that we can go here. We do a Titanic in the front here. wonder if it landed on the top or something. Maybe have to climb up to it. He's just looking at me. What are you doing, Banto? Why are you climbing that? Something wrong with Jip? <laughs> oh, maybe up on this one. There's a ladder. They are pretty little bird, very cute one. This is the bird, it's a parrot. It reminds me of the bird I saw in my dreams. 
Oh, that's interesting. Right before we left the city. Although this one doesn't seem to talk. Looks at me curious and excited. Something happened. It beats its wings and becomes agitated. Okay, what is happening? Ooh, we got a storm going. Did you warn about the storm? I think we should get down, guys. Probably not the best place to be during a storm, I suppose. And everyone went inside of the boat or they fell off. Ahoy, my child. Have you managed to get the hold of that bird? Oh, it flew away? Well, I'm sure as of why. As you notice, the weather has taken a turn for the worse. But the bird flew off to somewhere, which means there must be land nearby. That would be good news. If we weren't supposed to land in about two weeks, I hope we did not go off course somewhere along the way. Also, the storm is gathering right above us, makes me very anxious. Quick Banto, go ahead and go seek shelter in our cabin. Okay, I will do so, Father. Just don't die up here, man. Storm intensifies, trying to tear the ship apart. Powerful waves toss it around like a nutshell. Tanks are creaking, ready to burst. Finally, the ship crashes against something massive, and blackness prevails. Oh no. Oh, we just crashed on the island? And we're alone. Wake up! Where are we, huh? What happened? The last thing you can remember is you falling. And breaking through the waves. You are so exhausted. What might have happened to your father and the crew? You should investigate this island. Maybe we can find them. Search for the islands for the survivors. Let's have a look around. It's a beautiful island, but not very nice when you crash into an island, right? Oh, we found someone. Hey. hey, how are you doing, Sven? Oi, Banto! I was right to see you laying over there. Sorry if I didn't help you. I only just got up myself. He spotted me from lying down on the ground here? Really? <laughs> he must have very, very good eyes or he's lying to me. <laughs> I'm sure you noticed this as well, but uh, wherever we are doesn't seem like the place we were setting out for. It's a little bit too tropical for a snow-covered tundra. Haha, <laughs> that's true indeed, Sven. Damn, I'm dizzy. My head feels like I cracked a walnut. You don't look so good either. You should eat an apple from this barrel over there. You feel better. Oh, so we did get apple barrel. That's interesting. Lucky we, we are, for sure. Hey, landlubber, you look a lot better now. Told you the apple would help. Totally. Medical apples, everybody. Good thing we took that bear with us, haha. Always aware of the NED Banto, we wouldn't want to pass it out in the middle of nowhere, haha. My head still hurts, I guess something hit me when we crashed. But I don't worry. But don't worry, I'll be fine. Just like you, I have no clue what happened. To the others, I can see a big part of the beautiful ship Strand Island next to us. Our best bet to find others would be to get over there and check it out. We should try building a raft to get us across the deep water. How about gathering some of these uh, shredded planks around here while we look for the other stuff we need? We need a sail, a mast, and something to tie it all together. I'm sure you can find something useful in all this clutter. Okay, so we gotta um, uh, get one sturdy rope, one torn sail, one broken mast. If you can find where they are. The first thing I was thinking of these boards we got here, but it seems like that's not what we're looking for here. The rope and mast and sturdy sail. It could have been it is in the water. This looks like a rope, right? Let's get this rope, that should work good, very nice. Sturdy rope. This rope looks sturdy. It will easily hold the loose parts together. Nice. Out your inventory. Okay, so there we have it. I'm not very used to play like with controllers, but I feel like this sort of games works better with a controller. What do you guys think about that? And I do like when we have some kind of vibration that gives you feedback when playing. 
This must be part of a ship's sail. It's still big enough to hold winds from a smaller boat or raft. That's nice. The broken mass. Oh, it's over here. Right. Oh, there is a ship, at least a part of it. Okay. Oh, is there another part? Here we go. Get a better get back, talking with Sven and see what he has to say. Maybe he will help us build our little raft so we can go in the water with it. We got swimming here. There's probably going to be sharks and all kinds of crazy things in water. I just want to check what is this thing. I guess we're going to use it later. Hey, land lover. Great, you found all the parts. Oh man, my head hurts. I still can't really see straight. I think we'd better off with assembling the raft. We don't want it to look all crooked and such, haha. I have put a rough instructions on a pile of planks. I'm sure you will figure out how to put that thing together. So it was this thing. I had a feeling that we would use this. I found all the items necessary to build a raft. To build a raft, you need the following items. One sturdy rope, one torn sail, and one broken mast. Then we do have those things. Very nice. <laughs> I look pretty fun. I also love the graphics in this game. What do you guys think about this sort of graphics? Personally, I really love this low poly style. It's so beautiful. Hey! Ew, hey, land lover. That's a fine looking raft you build there. Hope it's just not because my eyes aren't working right, haha. Let's see if that thing is solid enough to carry us to the other side. Jump on the raft and we're off. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Yes, we are ready to leave. Oh my, what a ride. I kind of wish I could see them sail with it, though. Your raft sure wasn't disturbed, but at least we made... <laughs> That's the parts above it from our old raft there. Although the rough journey didn't do my head any good, I think I will stay here for a while and try to recover, haha. Why don't you try and find the crashed part of our beautiful ship? Maybe there's some fun or something left. I'll be right here if you need me. Haha. <laughs> Run? Th oh, we can run? Oh, okay, so with... Holding X we can run, very nice. For the beach to find... shipwreck. okay, nice. I'm still a little bit curious what thing on the top, is that like the day cycle or is that my energy? I'm supposing it would be a day cycle, but at the same time it's like a little... energy thing there, it looks like. Hello, little turtle. Oh, here we got the boat. The shipwreck is here. Let's see if Santa one is inside, perhaps. Oh, there's some people here. Nice. Oh, it is, Captain. Our dad is still alive? <coughs> Ahoy! Ouch! Ahoy, my child. It warms my heart to see you alive and well. After an unexpected misadventure, I can only hope for well-being. I was a little bit worried about our course when we were on the high seas. But it seemed there was a reason for it. This place we stranded on doesn't look like the frigid landscape we wanted to end up in. Well, Banto, I think that should be the least of our words right now. It seems like the crew has been split up and as you see, ouch. I have not emerged unsketched from this unfortunate event either. Do not worry, Banto, my old bones have been seen worse. A few days of recovery and I will be back on my feet. The Fiola makes sure of that. Oh, you have Rod Swen with you? It's great to hear. I'm sure sooner or later we will have a whole crew united. I hope so as well. I hope so. You look tired, which is no surprise. You have earned yourself a good nap. Used out of bed to get some rest. Don't worry, Fiola will take care of Sven and me. I feel like I wouldn't probably have fallen asleep at this situation right now, but maybe. We were maybe very tired. I'm just gonna speak with Fiola first. <laughs> oh, Banto. I'm so glad to see you're okay. We were really worried about you and the rest of the crew. I've managed to only hurt my arm a little, but your father Charles, he was hurt badly during the storm. Okay, let's have a little, little nap. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I think the thing with the, that the thunder thing is our energy and the, then the time is the clock kind of thing up there, which looks like a sun in the very top. Hey Charles, how you doing man? 
Oh, my child, you... ouch. You look well rested. Sleeping will restore some of your energy. Whenever you feel exhausted, you should eat or take a nap. It seems we're stuck on this island for a while. Before looking for the others, we have to make sure that we can survive here. We will need room to live and steady source of food. I sent Fiola to check the surrounding area. It seems to be usable as a campsite. You'll be looking for a usable farming ground there too. Would you mind to go and see if you can help her with anything? Sure. I'm not sure if she is able to do the hard work without uh, her to armor first. Sure, we will, we will go and try to help Fiola. Although this is not the actual goal of our great voyage, I'm certain that everything will be fine. I hope it will be fine. I hope so. If we stick and work together, anything is possible. We will be able to leave this place and reach our final destination, that I'm sure of. Go now, Banto. Help Fiola with the first step for the endeavor and meet her at the campsite. Okay, let's see. Where do the campsite? Is it up here, perhaps? It feels like this could definitely be the campsite. Yeah, there's a campfire. Hello, Sven. How are you doing, man? Hey, hey landlubber. Fiola picked me up at the beach. It's great to see her again. She's waiting for you over on the field. She said to look around for a good spot to establish a camp. Talk to her. I'm sure she had a, something for you to do. That means we're gonna start with getting into farming. We do have some green grass here, so that is nice. Hiya! I'm up since the first sunlight. I'm so excited. Even if this is not the raw wilderness we set out for, I'm just happy to stand on a field again. It seems that we'll be staying in this island for a while. This means we need farming ground as a steady source of food. Unfortunately, I can set it up myself. Because my arm, you know. I was able to sell us some of the tools we brought with us from the beach. They will come in handy with our new enterprise. Would you mind helping me with farming the ground? Yes, I would love to help. I promise you will feel good after a long day of work with your bare hands. That is very true. Doing something like that, it makes you feel better the rest of the day and the days after. The sun warms your skin and fresh breeze roughness up on um, your hair. Sounds wonderful, right? Ha he! It's great that there is someone like you that I can count on. It's great to have you here as well, Fiola. Please take this shovel. Use it to prepare the fields so that we can plant some corn. I've fenced off some of the fertile ground for you already. Banto, keep in mind that digging is hard work and it will cost your energy. Heavy shovel! The first tool will open your tool selection to equip it and use it to prepare the fields for planting crops or dig out the bird treasures. I like treasure, that's nice. Digging is a tedious task and don't get exhausted. Okay, so let's see here then. Check out the tool selection. Okay. Oh, nice. That was a cool way to do it. Now we get a shovel. Approach your farming ground. Select the shovel, hold A to shovel. That is pretty cool. I wonder if we have to do it all. Okay, we have to do three of them. So we just, yeah, let's just do like a line or something. We can see at the, see at the very top there, the, like, the bluish thing there. Our energy did go down, so that's our energy. Woohoo! This marks the first step in establishing our own little camp. Now it's time for you to saw your first seeds. Luckily, I managed to keep some of my seeds on me during the shipwreck. That's nice. Here, take the corn seeds. They will keep us fed once they are ready to harvest. It's probably gonna take a while because corn do take quite a while to grow. At least here in Sweden, it takes quite a while. Saw them on the fields you prepared. Corn seeds, your first seed. Corn is basic, but it's full of taste and nutrients. A great base of a lot of dishes. Use seeds as your fields to prepare with your shovel to plant the crops. Okay, so I guess the seeds are here. Okay. Ah, is that... Ooh. Learning controls. Luna will be a uh, pro controller man. <laughs> Great job, Manto. It looks like you have a green thumb. The next thing you need to do is to water the sprouting crops. Take this bucket. You can use it to gather fresh water from the spring over there. Carry to fill the bucket over to your crops and water them. Wooden bucket. This simple bucket is a bit leaky. 
but it does its job. Use these tools to gather water from a source and supply your crops with it. Dry plants can't grow. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, so we can... Okay, interesting. Does that mean I can choose what I cycle through here as well? Interesting. Okay, we want the bucket. I guess this is where we gather the water. Because we're not going to use salt water. Approach the crops with the full bucket. It looks like it's full. A little bit for you. A little bit for you. And the rest for you, my friend. Well done, Banto. Always remember, your crops will grow and ripen for as long as they have water. If the soil below them looks dry, they need more water. Most crops can go without it for a few days, but they will die if you don't take care of them for too long. Now all we can do here is to wait for the corn to ripen so that you can harvest them. We should use this time to set up a cooking station for you to cook food. We also need something for the rest of us, but we will take care of that for later. Sven told me that you have a talent in building things. That's great! Would you help me again in setting up the cooking station? I made a list of things we need for a proper kitchen. I've seen many utensils we brought with us scattered around the beach. I'm sure you'll find the things we need down here. Just explore a little bit. I'll prepare the foundation for the cooking station while you're searching. Sounds great. But guys, we're gonna end it for today with this first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I personally do really, really like this game so far. I think this game does have a lot of potential to be something really, really great. But I'm looking forward to recording more episodes of this. I hope you guys enjoyed today. If you did, feel free to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and also hit the bell if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, I hope you had a good time, and I hope to see you next time. Take care everybody, let's see each other in the next video in the archipelago. Bye bye everyone!